Uh, aloha, everybody from the YouTube channel and everybody here from Twitch. Back at it with another podcast this week. We got uh, Fate Man, we have Tuple V, we have Thompson, and uh, we have J-Mac. Uh, there were some other people that I wanted to invite. There was a couple new people. I'm not going to release their names yet, uh, but they were busy this this week, last minute, so they weren't able to join yeah, in. <laughs> busy. He's busy sleeping right now. Oh. So uh, we got this group, which I think is a, an awesome group to be talking about some of the topics that uh, I'm sure you guys already kind of expect. Uh, well, first off, how you guys doing? Hope you guys are uh, doing good this week. Everybody's been kind of talking about... Uh, I was wondering why everybody had so many summons this week, and apparently there is... Um, May or may not be discounts on Amazon Coin. Let's just say that with rebates. Anyways, uh, just want to say that low key, right? For those of you guys out there, a little public service announcement. If you guys looking to buy packs, uh, but yeah, we're gonna get right into the topics today. Um, topic number one, you kind of already can assume what it is, right? Basically, secondary awakening. That's what we're gonna talk about here today. Which units have you secondary awakened? Except for Topa, because I know Topa is just farming groups. <laughs> 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 and uh what units seem good you know i mean we can just talk about the units what you've seen just anything about the secondary awakened dungeon and these new units feel free to let us know what you've made first and take it away all these units that are new need such good ruins to make them decent what makes you say that i thought their base stats are all pretty solid from what i heard from but the they're, ones I looked at. they're four and a half now five they need really good ruins to compete at a high level. So how do you ruin your Fran then? I mean, people ruin Fran. Fran's got like but baby Fran stats, bro. She does everything. <laughs> Man, like her first, second, and third skill is just so relevant, you know? Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. I heard a lot water in Yukami was really You need to relax, sir, okay? <laughs> 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 I invite him to the podcast to get roasted. It feels bad, man. So if you guys don't know, Fate Mem, uh, give me a suggestion to make the water in Yukami, but I was already kind of looking at it. Um, it looked like an interesting unit. Nobody else was talking about it or building it. So I was like, I'm going to be the one, baby. I'm going to pioneer the water Inugami. Yeah, I find out that there's a reason why nobody else built it. It sucks balls. Yeah, it literally <laughs> sucks balls. But hey, maybe, uh, maybe we'll get do? a buff. Um, skill one is defense break. Um, okay. Skill two but is team up. But the team up now, instead of bringing two allies, can bring three. Dependent okay. on your defense, though. So you have to have okay. enough defense to bring three. And we found out that you need a pretty high level of defense, like defense lead or defense buff or whatever, even on like a speed defense, defense build. 2,000 defense not enough? No, not enough. Plus 2,000 is not enough without defense buff. What? Yep. No. Yup. Plus 2,000 oh. is not enough to take in all four. You need to have plus 2,000 plus defense buff. And I have max glory towers. So it's kind of ridiculous. But um, And the passive is that it has a passive every time it's not his turn or every time he's done attacking, he gets a counter attack buff and attack buff. So. Okay. He's a tax he's a defense type unit with attack scaling stats that has a weird contingency, so he just kinda sucks. I don't get it. Is he good on violent or not good on violent then? He's good on violent, yeah. Because he gets attack buff, and then he gets another attack buff again after his violent proc. Yeah, yeah, in essence, but just overall his damage is not good because you're building for defense, right? So you're supposed yeah. to bring him for utility for team up to reduce cooldowns for units. We have lost a member of the podcast. Um we um <laughs> but um yeah, he's supposed to be brought into for utility, I guess, defense break and you know reducing cooldowns of your entire team. But <sighs> team up is just so long of a cooldown, right? If maybe they they shortened it by you know every time <clears throat> counter attack reduce the cooldown of team up, then maybe that'll be better. I don't know. Mm. So just, it's uh, missing a Leona passive. That's what you're saying, right? Yeah, that would be insane actually <laughs> if they gave him a Leona passive. That's actually true. But but like I could go back to that statement. He's good, but he needs really good ruins to make him good. Like high <laughs> defense. Uh, he's really, he's uh, deep. Like he's good, but you just need insanely good runes no, to make no, him great. No, no, he's really bad. And with insanely good runes, he's only bad. That's, Does his that's, first move that's scale by defense or attack? I'm pretty sure it's attack. Jesus Christ, what a horrible monster, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Would it make sense? All they need to do is make his first move scale by defense, and he's like unstoppable. I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess. Or, or <laughs> you're so, you're so salty. You made the water new garbage. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build them all though. I like honestly. I'm, I'm gonna build them all. So it, it doesn't matter too much to me because I'm gonna. I, like I said, I'm gonna build all the new gummies. My next one is. All right, Ash, catch him. I'm gonna catch them all, baby. I mean, I, 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 I feel like the next. the. Fire Fairy seems like the best one, right? Yo, Yo I've been cool. seeing some testings on it, and it's okay. actually pretty, pretty good from what I've seen. So you're watching Sean B's video on my account? No, no. I, I, actually, well, I, I, did, I, I, did, I did hear about that, and I saw that live. But I also watched uh, one of my uh, viewers. His name is Jinxmon. 
Dude, he's like, he was like, okay, he's not that high rank, but he's like 19, like 80 or 1950, right? He pushed up to like 2050, just using Fire Fairy, dude. And he's like, I've never done that before, with except with oh, this unit. He gained 100 points where I lost 100 points using it. <laughs> so is he, is she good or not? Uh, I have, I don't have a skill up because it requires eight. I'm going to do it tomorrow. I thought about Damn. it for a long time. I talked to Josh. So I'm putting eight devil ones into her. So her rate goes up by 20%, which is <clears throat> exponential, amount. right? So if you guys don't know because what she does, multi -hit as well. if you guys don't know what she does, she has skill one of like Fran, like kind of like Fran's old skill one. Skill two is a, a double hit. If it hits on the same target, it stuns. If not, then does it do anything? If it only hits one no, of one? 50% chance. 50% chance to stun. If it two hits go on the same target, because it's random, it will guarantee the stun, right? Assuming it's not glancing. And then skill three is a, like an Oki third skill where it does multiple hits on every target, but it will strip and attack speed slow. So for what I've seen it being used out of the 17 times, because he was logging it as well, um, it was really solid. Like it was pretty consistent. Did he put Devil Mons into her? I don't know. I don't know. I assume That's he did. For I sure he did. did. Come on I, now. I assume he did. I assume he did. It needs to be skilled up. There's no way it works without skill ups. Yeah, because yeah, I use up. it without skill up, and I, I was pretty pissed. I lost 100 points. <laughs> but you always lose 100 points. Oh, no, sorry. That no, sorry. Bad. Anyways. Well, oh. Fire Fairy is really good, but you need really good runes on her. She needs to be really fast. <laughs> nah, and nah, high nah. Accuracy. nah, you don't need no, you don't need good runes on her. You, you only need, need two speed stats. And accuracy. That's you only need speed need. accuracy. You only need two stats. Okay, bro. you guys say speed like it's like free. Speed yes. is a big, it's really good runes, you know? Like, she needs to go before all your monsters, so I don't know. She she requires really good uh, ruins, too, right? Yeah, and it's not going to be on your first uh, fastest set, for sure, because that's going on Triton, right? So it's your second fastest set. Hmm. Most likely. For or most maybe people. the second one, Tiana's still better, you know? Well, I'm deruining <laughs> Tiana for her for my comp, like, tomorrow, just to test. <clears throat> I figured yeah, but her. Tiana's still better, right? What's her yes. base speed? Uh, 102, 102, 103. Yeah, yeah. 102. Oh, that's not bad, actually. Yeah, it's actually pretty Tiana's good. Tiana's a little slower, right? So like her, her base stats are okay, except for the HP. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's, but it's like, it's Tiana, like it's like Tiana doesn't need accuracy, so you cannot put Tiana's set on her. Uh, You gotta put Oki's slot, slot 6 on her. Well, it's just, yeah, 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 yeah. Like slot, that. You need uh, one slot 6 accuracy to replace that. You pretty much ruin it like Oki. It's literally Oki runes. Like, basically, a swift Oki is how you you basically ruining it. There's no other change, I guess you can say. Yeah, I, I, test it I think yeah. she's good. I just don't think, like, uh, the re room requirements for her is too high. Okay, Tom said anything that's not an LD Nav 5 is not good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think there's a lot of monsters that's not LD Nav 5 that's good. Like what? Uh, a bunch. There's, like, Diana, there's Josephine, there's Verad, there's... Uh, I mean, Vertihill. Wait, for rad? Okay, okay. Vertihill, there's Alpharis. There's, Alpharis, there's, uh, there's a whole bunch of units, you know? Hathor, Ganymede, Okeano, Sierra. I could keep going, you know? Are you Okeanos crazy? needs like, fast runes, though. Yeah, Okeanos, Okeanos is the same thing, like. Yeah, same thing. Uh, same, same, but different. Yeah, same, same, but different. <laughs> All right, what, what other units? Uh, uh, Faint, which one did you make? I, I, I built the water one's brother. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, That's the one. Oh, you built Rayoke? Yeah. How was that? I, I heard Barian was using it for fun with like Lisa or something for some fun scrims. Lisa Lauren. Was it. Yeah, he was streaming it. Well, how, was it effective? I only, like, I only got to see a couple uh, matches. I mean, it must be good, right? I I, I got featured on Ken GSW. <laughs> oh, <laughs> did you really? On the other side, Josh? <laughs> it can't hide it anymore. Damn. Are you, are you still using it for fun? Is that your new fun toy? Um, well, it's not really a fun, uh, I don't even have it scaled up, but it's pretty consistent. Do you, do you think that a lot of people are talking about Ryok and this new secondary awakening? It's good, but they, it's, they feel it's like plain be, consistent. They, 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 they think it could be stronger. Like the consecutive attack for skill one could potentially increase with skill ups. Would, would you think that would be a nice change? Is that, or is that no, too, too strong? No, 20% is already more than enough. Mm, yeah, that's true. Like, we know it, what 20%, it's... 22% does. So 30% is definitely more than enough. His well, strength, I, it comes from skill 2 and it's passive. And... I watched Josh use it yesterday, like when we were out. It's pretty insane. <laughs> I watched him climb for a bit. I'm not going to leak too much of his stuff because he's going to test other stuff. But it looks like a fun unit. That's why I'm building next. What what is the um, what is the standard runes for it? Is I'm assuming it's like a Perna ish Perna ish kind of runes? Is that is that is that the is that No, the right it thing? has to be tanky. Oh tanky. So are you talking yeah. more like bruiser type, like a Vanessa Tassarin kind of yeah. look feel? But okay. a little bit more on the damage side. 
Okay. So probably something like Wind Monkey Runes. Wind Monkey Runes, okay. That, that makes a lot of sense then. Yeah. Huh, interesting. So it needs good runes too, right? So it needs good it runes. Words. <laughs> <laughs> Any well, unit you want to use, you need to have good runes, man. Like, if you want to use it optimally, it's got to have good runes, bro. It's like, goes without question, right? All right, what yeah. about you, Topa? I know you're farming runes, but um, what unit are you? No, I actually to made one, but it's a secret. <laughs> Did you really? You made one into secret. Yeah, I, I too awakened something yesterday. Yeah. Uh, okay, so everybody um, in the in the secret. chat and the guild chat knows then, except for <laughs> us. Well, technically, I didn't to awaken it yet. I just farmed all the XP and oh. to awaken it later, so no one knows yet. Oh, I see, I see. All right, so surprise but... stun coming out of Topa here. Mm. Is this is this potentially for SWC? Mm. Yes. <laughs> really? Okay. Incoming light war bear, which is underwhelming AF. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna throw in SWC, that's right. Uh what do you guys think of some of the other units? Like what have you heard? Like pick pick any of the other units that you've been uh, hearing about. Well Archer did the Dark Pixie, right? The Dark Pixie. Oh that has double cooldown reduction, right? I mean cooldown yeah. uh reset for skill two and three. Yeah, right? yeah, increased cool time. How's that? Uh I mean it's good if you have a Gianna, I guess. But... Oh Thompson! Thompson! <laughs> Nope. Hey, Tasha. I picked something else. Really? What did you pick? Oh, it's a secret for SWC. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't be a little yeah. bitch, dude. Yeah, that's right. Wait, is it, is no, it, is I, it actually... I went Bella. I went Bella. Oh, you went Bella. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. I saw uh, a couple people in G3 use a Swift Bella right now as well. Yeah, it's been, uh, yeah. It, it's, it looks pretty solid. Like the new base stat bump up makes Bella stronger. I think some people actually used Bella like a couple seasons ago, I remember, like they actually used it in their some of their, their comps. I, I don't know who I remember just, seeing. Just reading everyone's skills, the only two monsters that appealed to me was uh if you have decent runes, is the Fire Fairy and Bella. Like who else? There's no one that really appeals to me. You uh, know, in uh, a way. The second one that I'm building, Ramahan, for those people that like to Olivia yeah. Domestity. It's it's much better now. <laughs> Ramahan? Ramahan. Okay. Ramahan. Yeah, everything's still in defense for Ramahan now. Yeah, Ramahan is pretty pretty strong now. Uh, from mean, what I've Bella seen, Bella has like nat five base stats. If you subtract the attack, because you're not building on an attack anyway. Exactly, that's actually pretty. That's actually true. And and the base uh, speed is always been nice. Almost like nat six base stats. If yeah. you if you discount the attack. Oh, and people are building crow right now too, right? For rain. But well, I, I don't like I don't like Bella's kit. I don't think yeah. it, it got like the secondary awakening changed much. The attack uh, reduction so is actually I, pretty I good, though. I fight Bella. I put him on a 290 violence set. I put him on a 280 violence set. And I put him on a 260 violence set. It sucks, it sucks, and it sucks. It yeah. needs a 310 swift set, that's why. Uh, Yeah, I could do that too, but it's kind of pointless, you know? So uh, No, I, no, no, Thompson. You need to put it on a 310 violence set. Uh, <laughs> I, I have I, that I, I do have it in my arsenal, but... um. His base stats is decently high too. It's like two ten. It's like one ten, almost. What, it's like one hundred eight. Yeah, one hundred eight. Yeah, one hundred eight. Yeah. 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 No, but uh, he's he's. Uh, I don't really like him. Yeah, it's. I, I don't find. I didn't find much uh, success using him. Mm. At different types of speeds. But for you, you don't even need fire fairy. You have the strippers already. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, Thompson's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna try out the Fire Fairy. Oh yeah, AoE strip. Oh, yeah, Gianna, it's okay. I have Gianna's better. <laughs> oh, oh Bella. Gianna. Oh, I, I, I will. Uh, I, I will make a Fire Fairy uh, next. You know, supposedly Fire Fairy strip chance is higher than Gianna's. Yeah, yeah. Because it hits so many times, it's a 89 percent oh, chance. That's true. I will make a Fire Fairy next. That's my next one to awaken. That's actually very true because of the multiple uh, resistance checks yeah. that it goes through. Right, but so it's, it's eighty nine percent chance. It's four to six. What is the chance with four, and what's the chance of six? Well, we're gonna right. calculate. We're just gonna base it off of four, right? It's well, four. Or is are you basing more. it off of five? I think it's based off five. Yeah, because five is average, right? So you expect yeah, on average, average. it's gonna be about five. I expect the worst, man. Nothing <laughs> works in my call. Uh, that works too. Expect four. You might as well then, because at the very least, it's only gonna be more than that, right? So that isn't that's the bad. fire fairy second move really bad or the random stun. Yeah, no, it's not, the second move is not bad, especially if a unit dies. Uh -huh. Yes, that's true. 3v3 or like 4v3. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you have to, when the chances to stun is super high, right? Yeah, yeah so two chances of stun. Does it go through a resist check? 
the yes. skill too? I, it does. It does. Yeah. No, yeah. but, but uh, if you hit the same target, it, it doesn't go through resistance check anymore. Oh, it just it goes through really? glancing. It just goes through glancing, right? It's not going to work with it's that. Like, no. it, it'll stand regardless of glancing. Maruna. Oh, I see. So we might we might be seeing her in uh, SWC. I'm I'm kind of excited for to see what people pull out because you gotta have some you gotta have some balls to pull it out, right? Because you want to win this tournament. This tournament's like double the amount of money from last year. So you know, every every move you make is impactful. So yeah, you make very excited to see some of these. Oh, what about Crow? We were just talking about it from briefly. I think it's just mainly a PVE unit, right? I, yeah, I'm not people really are just seeing... using it as a brandy replacement, right? Right. Yeah, pretty much brandy replacement. Um. Any other families? I mean, uh, we didn't hear too much about war bears. I guess they're because it's not too fun. I guess I've heard the fire one's kind of like budget Bellinus, and the dark one is kind of like okay at CC as well. But like at first when I looked at the fire one, I was like, oh, so good. And then it's I like looked Bellinus, at it, right? No, and then like, and then and then for some reason I thought it was a two turn provoke, and then and then I finally oh. realized it was a one turn provoke, and I'm like, yeah, no, no. <laughs> might as well use Jean, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or just get a Bellinus, I guess. But yeah. Um, Anything else? Uh, Pixie. Pixies don't seem so crazy, yeah? Shannon looks good, right? Pretty, does Shannon seem pretty yeah. good? Oh, Shannon why, looks good. Why Shannon looks good? I, I I never got to look through that one. I, I mean, she's good. originally good already, so now she has better stats. Yeah, now her base stats are pretty nice. Mm -hmm. mm. Shannon might be a one I build, too. <clears throat> uh, actually, I, if I remember clearly, Pixies are 111 base speed, too, right? So base speeds are kind of nice on them. Yeah. Yeah, 111. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's a nice plus for them. Hmm, interesting. All right. But the pixie um absorbs attack bar, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I think like twenty percent or something like that. What about with skill up, or is it the same? It's I don't know. Okay. I think the chance just goes up. Mm -hmm. uh, what What are you guys thoughts on the skill up situation now that you know it's been released and we kind of know that when you secondary awaken, you don't lose the skill ups, you just gain more stats. And uh, especially with these new changes where we're actually seeing new skill up um, like skills, right? We've never had extra harmful effect like on Crow, right? Extra one turn harmful effect. We've never had extra uh, attack gauge increase uh, for skill ups ever. But what are your thoughts on these? I think come to us is vindicated with all the like the devil mom packs they provided and all the devil mons they're giving out. There, it's eases the pain a little bit. Before like free to play players, it still kind of sucks. Right, but yeah. I don't think everything needs skill ups, does it? I everything needs skill ups. Everything yeah. you should be skilled up, right? I'm well, the you, good thing is you actually like don't. Jeff Mac, Jeff Mac, uh, dropped a hundred points just because he didn't skill his monster. You know. True, true, <laughs> true. Yeah. Sorry, J Mac. Sorry to hear that. No, man. no, no, no. It's okay. What, what okay. Were you, what were you saying, like, Um, you don't actually need that many skill ups. Like originally, I thought like you need like what ten, eleven, like or... sixteen. Yeah. 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 No, I think no, it's actually eight, like right? seven or eight, man. Seven or eight, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. I like that. They're vindicated. It, Fine. It, it, that's actually one one pro, one one bonus to the water unigami. I don't need any skill ups because all the skill ups only increase damage. See that? <laughs> oh, champ, baby. I bet none of your other second awakenings are like that. That's what I well, see. Well, um, if you are actually willing to spend some money, or you do, basically last week when the patch came out you were able to get 20 devil mons that week you know that right so crazy so, dude. that's the most they ever given out which is insane the pack alone is 13 you get um three from the special uh dungeon thing that's set uh 16 uh two from toa one from weekly right yeah and then one from uh oh yeah wait two from toa one from weekly yeah that's it yeah, I, so, I, I still don't see the three from is it just the one? Dungeon reopens, right? Every week. I'm not sure yeah, why. It goes is it every, every week, week? Yeah. for three oh, weeks. So. Hey, do we get the not enough? Do we get the free one? Did we get the free one for one million uh, vampire lords yet? Did that happen? I think we're like 40k away. Oh, oh yeah, so there's yeah. one there too. That's so, a free one. Oh, yeah. Probably today. Yeah, we'll yeah. probably get that like today or, or tomorrow. Yeah, today or tomorrow. Day. Make sure you guys redeem that. So it's quite a bit, and the packs are I I feel pretty worth it because just the middle pack alone has three LD scrolls, I believe. Yep. Damn, how many stocks of comp to us did you buy? None. <laughs> you, can't, you know, you can't buy it in um, North Don't America. I tried like years ago. Uh, you can't buy comp to a stock in Canada, at least. I tried. Oh, uh, I see. I mean, the packs are good value. So obviously people that are spending money in the game or you decide to spend, they're really good value. If not, you just have to wait for your devil mons to put them in. And the good news is, when you get the units, a lot of them that are viable, especially for PvE content and other things like that, things that you might be building them for or trying to obtain because you're more free to play, 
don't need the skill ups to function properly, right? They can do the job well. It's just that it, with Devil Mods, they could do it more. You know what I mean? Which Let's is, be uh, honest. Nice. Most people use those packs on their Nat Fives and not the two A monsters. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, um, <clears throat> some uh, any other units that you guys wanted to bring up and talk about? I would disagree. I feel like a lot of people use them on the Second Awakening because they're free monster so? and they want to try it out. Yeah. Josh, what do you put on? Put what on? Devils. Uh, they're still in the storage. Oh, Toba, what do you put it on? Oki. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Nat Five. Yeah. Did you have an Oki before? I uh, summoned it three weeks ago. Oh my God! Congrats. Oki's so good. <laughs> oh dang! Why'd you tell him? He's writing it down in his notebook now, man. He's got these little pieces of paper that he writes down everybody's notes on. You got Mark okay, Dallas, Opa, Oki. I assume <laughs> everyone has everything. To be honest, I think that's the easier way, right? They have everything, except for LDs, though. Nah, but if you were smart, you should know what they don't have because that's pretty huge in terms of your draft. It's a pretty big yeah, advantage. Yeah, so guys, last pick Dude, Vanessa. I think I no, played Copa. I first picked Oki with him. I didn't even know. I don't even care. Like it's like it doesn't matter at that point. Yeah, I heard. I heard Topa got ranked all as well. Yeah, right, 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 Topa. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey come on. Now. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry about that. Sorry about that. Oops. <laughs> and uh, I heard Joseph I heard memory Amber. has light lightning in her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my secret weapon. Oh. Um, Mika the bus said Joseph pulled Painter <laughs> yesterday. He did it. No, 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 it's a joke. Um, Mika the bus saw a replay and thought the wrong side was Joseph. Oh, it shocked oh. all of us. Painter, <laughs> Painter is pretty, uh, pretty uh, OP man. Yeah, Painter's insane. Dude. It's actually, oh, insane man. How about the light one? Light oh. one's okay, right? But just it's not. Not that park. one's good. It's okay. It's good. That one's, one's, really one's a Gianna, and the dark one is like it, three and fives combined in one. Is it a Gianna, or is it like not oh, like can do what Gianna does? It's like okayish. The Gianna's still better, or is is it is it a Gianna basically? It's basically it's, a Gianna. Basically Gianna. Uh, I see. I see. Uh, hey, do you use Laura uh, Thompson? Because uh, um. Oh, I used them. I uh, used them uh, in the. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I remember. Zara, Guardian tournament. Right? Yep. Uh, what's uh? Alu pulled Laura yesterday. We're gonna put it on Rage and try. Oh, <laughs> you should do Rage Nikki and Rage Laura. We have a Rage Nikki, right? So we're gonna try Rage Laura. Next. Hey, Topa, do you remember when we uh we did those uh, two yeah. RTA matches against yeah. it? That that's the that's the account. The, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Pe Pe Pepe, Pe Pepe, yeah. Pe Pepe, whatever. No, we changed the name again. It's not how to pay. Oh god! <laughs> oh god! We changed it yesterday. In front of Josh, we're like, "How to pay? How, to How pay. does that person pull a light and dark monster out of her or his ass every single day?" You have enough LD How to scrolls? play or how to pay? There's two different people. You just have no. To the have person that just got Laura. Um, she spends a lot of. Money. Oh, <laughs> well, hats off. You yeah. know what? So, when some yeah. people invest that much, you know, so be it, right? You get it. You win. You deserve it. I get it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah look, but, uh, look at how many LD Laura, he has. Laura is a rip, though. She's not good. Really? Yeah. That's a defense buff one, right? Um, three turn defense buff. Yeah, three yeah. turn defense buff. Huh. And the messed up part is everyone knows I have Artemil, so they're like, oh, how do you not make Laura work? Trust me, man. Laura doesn't work. So, what if they give her skill two cleanse, like the ones that Nikki and Animal has? Does that make her OP then? Mm, I think that skill nah. two is actually pretty strong. So, her problem is like way deeper than that. Really? Yeah. Huh. I actually like her second move. I think she's only good for her second move. That's about it. Really? What does first move do? Huh? Defense buff and what? What's the harmful effect? Sleep? No, first move attack is down. Sleep, right? Oh, attack, oh down. attack down. Attack down. AoE attack down. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Hey, we're going to put on Rage and let you know, okay? <laughs> you know what would make her skill 3 better? If it was glancing. That's true. Oh, that is very true. That's actually big. Yep. That's actually big. You know what would make her skill three better if it strips. What? You know what make her skill what? three better yeah. is if she yeah, would, right? if she silences. Into armor breaking, like, into glancing. No, my silence greed went too far. I see. I see. My greed went too far. I got you. I think I'd rather I have silence you. than glancing. I stop. I stop. Give her silence. Yep. It's following I have the trend too. AOE glances, but it needs to strip as well. Hopefully, I'll get a buff. Sir. Zam gets a strip on third skill too. Ooh. That would be actually good. All right. All so right. when are they going to buff Shazam? Hopefully the next one. I'm Sorry. over it at this point. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm over it too. Forget about Shazam. You have a Shazam? I have a Laura. 
I have some stuff. <laughs> we give a Shazam. All right, next topic. Uh, moving <laughs> on to topic number two here. Uh, still in correlation with this secondary awakening uh, topic that we have. If you could decide one unit for the next secondary awakening, what would it be? Now, some of the implica uh, implications that we've talked about in uh, the stream the last couple of days have been, could you imagine a copper secondary awakening? Could you imagine a bulldozer second awakening? Could you imagine a Kali second awakening? Yeah, what units do you want to see secondary awakened? And uh, what are your thoughts on it? I want to see Randy. Just because I've been watching so many of those YDCB stupid <laughs> clips, right? The, the one in LA, remember? The one that went like 10 million times. Yeah. Yeah, dude. So I want to see I, that happen. Can I answer for a faint memory? Yeah. Man. He wants the penguin. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You know oh, yeah. oh, my God. Mav would actually be a legit <laughs> cleanser then. Instead of like a one, a, like a, a one turn, re uh, one turn cleanse or whatever, right? One turn cooldown. It'll be a full reset. Yo, 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 no. Raccoonie, but with Pater. Passive. Oh, dude. <laughs> that would be actually insane. Yeah, that would be insane. Yeah, thinking of some of these are Topa very interesting. <laughs> you would quit the game? No, that would make Topa quit the game. <laughs> oh, sorry, what would? Oh, Because uh, Gany has thrown one more half the time. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you no, I don't, I don't care about Rakuni. <clears throat> no, if it gives um, Pater Second Awakening uh, passive. There's one monster no, I know everyone passive doesn't do that much on it. This is more as well to cleanse some Pater. No, 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 no. The passive becomes cannot be attacked by our dudes. Yeah. Oh, oh god. god. <laughs> then, then it's pretty okay, yeah. You know, they need to. Just force that color apart so he won't be second. Secondary honestly, race. they need to do that for Fire Monkey King. What? They should. Yeah, then it'll be a very strong counter to Yeah, it just it just puts it in parentheses, right? right? It just says screw you, Hathor. Like that's what that's the what the new <laughs> passive says. It just says screw you, Hathor. <laughs> no, right, the passive uh, is called Yeah. Fuck Hathor. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. There's a few monsters I want second awakening. Probably on top of my list is gonna be the Hellhounds. For sure. Mm. Like yeah. the Tarks and the Fire one. I like started game play using those monsters, so definitely. That's they haven't been very nostalgic. That's three very nostalgic, years. man. That's yeah. the, the Seek. Yeah. Everybody the built dog. a Seek. It's like, what do you build? Yo, you gotta build that Fire Dog that you got at the beginning of the game. Really? Yeah. All right. It's Arena Cleaving, baby, back in the day. Yo, what if Seek's team up changes to like a crazier one as well? Not Seek, though. Uh, tark. Tark, right? tark, Tark, yeah. I think, I think Baron will use it more, though. <clears throat> yeah, I, I feel like they will use the. They will do secondary awakenings for it. That that's Eventually, definitely a family. Yeah. yeah, I think they said every couple of months, right? Four months, three Four months. Four months. Yeah, something that's like what that. They say in the, yeah, that's what they said. Four so months. the next one is like October, November, towards the end of the year, right? We expect right, what another one. <laughs> you know, this is gonna change pack wars that we do, right? What do you mean? Like, well, if we do those like summon uh, pack war stuff, and you have you have to second awaken everything to do it. But it would take too long, right? Yeah. Yeah, it would take too long. Yeah. It'd be pretty fun, though. That would, that would definitely be pretty fun. But there's so many families that are just not... Like, sharks. Like, come on, dude. When's the last time you heard anybody build a damn charger shark? Dude, uh, R5, never... do you remember? <laughs> um, back in the days? The, the, the fire, fire one? one? Yeah, yeah, the fire <laughs> one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm looking at a box right now. What, what other units have been lost in time? Wow, I just got three Mystic Scrolls in a row from Giants. What the hell are these drop rates? The hell? Yo, someone that could be here more long. I wouldn't mind I'm on, I'm on a Spectra. Oh, give it Speed what? Awakening. Give it 10 more, 10 more, 10 more base. <laughs> yeah, 141 yeah. base. Speed. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Just make skill 3 guaranteed 100%. So it's all Thor for everybody. Damn, not bad, dude. I mean, it doesn't sleep, but attack speed's slow and a full attack bar reduction is uh, nutty enough, dude. I think they're going to do uh, the Griffin, actually. Because, like, in all the Summoner's War cartoon, I see, like, the Bernard in every single video. But what yeah. are you going to give Bernard? What, ooh, what if they did what they did with Bella? 5% more gauge. Does that make it more usable? More OP? Nah, make I don't think so. 10% more gauge, then. Because that makes it more yeah. easy to speed tune, right? Because that's uh, why Frigate is so good. So. He doesn't have as high a base speed. doesn't have that it's speed already, It already boosts more than Frigate anyways. If you give it 10% more, oh my god. Yeah, I know. Mm. Yeah. With speed buff. Is skill 200% attack down and defense break? Yep. Okay, so they can't make that. Because I'm thinking, like, they will probably want to make different harmful effects higher just so that people who are earlier mid-game have more viability in PvE areas as well, right? No, no, this is what you do. Skill 2, if it kills a unit, you gain an additional turn, and all your cooldowns reduce by 1. All right, relax. 
Yo, you know, what about Minotaurs? They already fucked me in Labyrinth back in the days when I did Labyrinth. Oh, Minotaurs, <laughs> man. Those things do nothing. Well, no. In Labyrinth, they're fucking OP. Oh, my God. The ones in Labyrinth are ruined with, like, 50 cents. <laughs> yeah, they, they fucking go through everything and stun your whole family. Yeah, dude. So... That... They're gonna do Nat 2s as well, so but what else? A Colleen? Oh, buff Colleen, dude. Colleen, Guaranteed yeah. staple Nat uh, uh, raid 5 unit. And make it's gonna make it more consistent for players. So that's gonna be an option. Yeah, I want them to work on some that are PvE related. Doesn't have to be PvP, right? I think uh before they make the second awakening, they could fine-tune some of the monsters right now because they're pretty bad. Like what you said, you're kind of disappointed about the water inugami, or some people are kind of like you know, they're not really good. I think they're know? gonna do it same time, right? Whenever balance patch oh. comes out will be yeah. when they do those changes. And then whenever the That'd four months cool, happens, yeah, probably. they're gonna add in more. Uh, yeah. Wait till they do the Elven Arch uh, um Ranger, then Josh can finally use it in RTA. Oh yeah. That's yeah. hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So how about the Which Elven time? Archers? If you have the light counterparts or the light and dark counterparts and they're Nat fours. How does oh, it yeah, work? it's not gonna it's yeah. not gonna be allowed because it has a dark. Same with like magical archers, right? If you had the light, uh, oh yeah, what about yeah. donger? You can't have an op hodam. Damn, dude, you can't have op dongers. Damn it. So <laughs> no, fun. you can. It's just up to come to us to decide that, right? I don't think they will. I don't think they will. They're gonna yeah, exclude it. You only stand no nat fives, right? So you can. No, no, no. In the message that two I talked to them about, they clearly said we will not look into nat fours. <clears throat> yeah, two and threes all. only. Yeah, they yeah. say say like balance patches are gonna buff nat fours. Yes, they said um balance patch yeah. are for nat four, nat five, and it, yeah, they said clearly no. Like I have an actual like definite no from them for now. Hmm. So yeah, which kind of sucks because there would be some cool four stars they could make look pretty, right? I think the skins are amazing on it. Yeah, I think the skins are really nice. Oh, yeah. Konamiya. What did they give Konamiya more speed? <laughs> it's the only reason why it's so bad about, is it's so slow, dude. Think about the four-star RTA, how crazy would it be? That, I oh, think yeah. That's true. Could you use it for four-star RTA? Of course. Of course. Oh, wow. It's considered Nat 3. So Wait, we don't have it this season, though. It has to be probably next one. Damn. What is this especially going to be? Did they say it? Uh, Kreeban. SWC. Yeah, yeah, Fuck, I'd rather do Nat 4s because I'd have so much fun with Ryok. Yeah, that four is so much more fun. Yeah, they should have done it. it. They should have done it for this one because it's it's right after their secondary awakening release. Damn. Oh, they, they didn't think this through. Yeah. Or maybe they did. They nah, want more they people to get it first. Yeah, maybe they just want more of them first. Or more testing, I guess. That's true. Uh, any other units you want to bring up that you guys want to see? That's majority more of them. More cowgirl buffs. Because then cowgirls keep on getting buffed every patch. They might. Then that would force people to use their guild points to obtain one. Because you have to randomly obtain one like Ifrit's right through the guild shop to get the water, wind, yeah. fire. So that's an option. Definitely an option. Chris Baron's using um, mm. Lauren right now. Mm. Pretty effectively, I assume, as well. No, he 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 didn't strip me turn one. I feel like he's... <laughs> no, he didn't strip? Rude. No, it failed. Um, I hope it works because it's pretty cool to watch Ryoka and Lauren work together, right? And Lisa because he runs a pretty fast Lisa as well. Mm, I see, I see. All right, we're gonna move on to topic number three since we're talking about RTAs. Um, gonna go into topic number three. Uh, if you didn't know, RTA season is ending June 29th in about 11 days, 10, 11 days from now. How are you doing this season? Are you? Because I know the SWC invites went out. Are some of you guys just messing around now, just doing whatever's or? How's oh, it going? straight up, I'm gonna say this. I choked, so all of them were going to SWC except me. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> uh, you remember when I went to EDC, I didn't do like wings for eight, nine days. I went from rank 40 to 110. Dang. But 110 still gets you in. Um, not for season nine, only season eight. Season eight goes to 300 plus. Oh, wow. So I am at literally the first alternate. Mm. Oh, so you got the alternate one though. Yeah, I'm so I'm, I'm rank nine. Damn, I'm that means all four. you guys are on his hit list. I, I, I'd be careful with Jeff. Yeah. So exactly, <laughs> going to, I'm going to Josh's house later. I know where he is. <laughs> I call it five to season eight. Yeah. Not season. Oh, okay. Never mind. I need to go find. Season eight. I think it's season eight, though. Yo, can anyone tell me where's the address of season nine, people? Yo, <laughs> if, even if you're at EDC, couldn't you do some wings on the side? You know. Yeah, I did one wing, and I yeah. left that Chris on the bus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you just you just tuned in against Chris? Yeah, it was random, and then he was streaming too. Oh wow! I wasn't watching, and I literally lock sack him. Everything, bro. 
and that was my only win during EDC. But overall, because I was in Vegas for six days, and back and forth the two days before, two days after, I was really busy catching up with work. I didn't get a chance. I got uh, it's my fault at the same time, so it's okay. Is you it your fault, or is it the ranking system's fault? You know what? It is a part of the ranking system, but I knew the ranking system was like that, so I put the blame on myself. But you guys go do me proud, please. Go fuck shit up. I'm All gonna right. miss you in my bracket, J Mac. Oh, okay. You, oh, I didn't even get to fight you. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. yeah. I got my opponent, Truffles. Yeah. Where's Truffles been? Has he been MIA? He's not no! playing at all, right? I remember your fight with Shuffles like the best match ever. It was probably the best match during that bracket. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, something like Vela Jewel versus like uh Wusa and it went down to the very last hit, right? Yeah, my Vela Jewel crit is uh something. I forgot. It was a really fun match. Like I really enjoyed it. I think SWC is amazing for the people who are gonna go and just not meet us here. Wait, Ch <laughs> Chuffles Chuffles beat you first round, right? Yes. Who did he lose to yeah. second round? He lost to Sai. Oh, he right. lost to Sai because of the wrong Sierra, right? Or something. I I, me I remember somebody I used the wrong Sierra. Why. Who who used the wrong Sierra? I think that was Chuffles. Somebody used yeah. the wrong Sierra. Well, that was yeah, that was Chuffles. That was Chuffles, right? He used, <laughs> he used like the slow ass like wrong Sierra. He had two. He chose the wrong one. And uh, yeah, yeah, I, I remember. I'm that. pretty excited for this year's SWC because it's so competitive. Oh yeah, a lot of new names as well. Secondary awaken units. Um, the the meta is totally different from last year. I mean, obviously, Molong's out of the picture. Well, Molong's gone, right? right? So it's different. So we get to see something different. So. But Neftis is also insane. And look at how many players have Neftis in right? SWC. Right. Uh, you want to? I'm not pointing at you, but you know how many people there are, right? No, Thompson, Thompson doesn't have Neftis. No, 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 no. Name, name some <laughs> other people that have Neftis. Yeah, obviously Thompson doesn't have Neftis, right? Thompson, I got you, bro. <clears throat> There's Neftis, there's also how to ruin Neftis or what you put on Neftis. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty confident. But the three yeah, the three players that I can name right off the bat that have Neftis is Sai and Baron. And every all those players are amazing players. So it's gonna be fun to watch. It's gonna so be curious to pre, see. Pre ban Neftis half the time, I bet you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, she's a she's a pretty strong uh, strong unit uh, overall. I'm curious to see what people what players decide to ban, right? And we talked about the ban system last time how it's not how I, I thought it was, which I the way I thought was, it just made more sense, right? If you banned a unit, you can no longer ban it again for the rest of the match, but it's not the case. If you ban a unit, you just cannot ban it consecutively. Match. Yeah, yeah, you can't ban the next match. I, I, don't, I don't get what the purpose of that is. You know what I mean? I mean, it, it's cool, it's a change, but it's not as big of a change. I wish they, I wish they don't allow you to ban the same unit for the whole match, one time you the whole what? match. I like it, I like it. Is he not? Because he gets Neftis half the time. <laughs> I like <laughs> it. To say. I don't mind it. I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> it's fine on my end. Okay, if you say so. I'm curious to see how yeah. it works. I'm curious to see. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited overall. That's the main thing. I think it's going to be a fun couple of months leading up to October, which is Paris, right? Right. Yeah. Um, so talking, uh, going back to the topic here on the uh, RTA season ending, everybody's excited for the rewards. Um, if you only had one skin, because obviously I know literally I'm the only Ragdoll. one. I'm, I'm the only one without Ragdoll. three red stars here. Everybody no, else has Ragdoll. three red stars. Uh, if you only choose one, what would you do? Ragdoll. 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 You don't even have a ragdoll. I don't have a Yun Hong either, but who's Yun Hong is skin? You are biased because you have three skins, sir. Okay? You know you're going to put one in ragdoll for the memes and then you have two others no, for something else. No, you're in probably Leo right now. Mm. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the same. I'll do the same. I don't have any any of those. Thompson, are you gonna put on Leica? You you gotta tell me you gotta put one on Leica just for the meme. I'm gonna unit. put on the element one because I'm not gonna pull a, a ragdoll. Come on, no, now. that attitude. <laughs> okay, what? Well, okay, oh right. If I'm positive, I'm gonna get a ragdoll. My ass, man. Yeah, if you're <laughs> positive and you have endless bankrolls, you will get a ragdoll. You're just missing the uh, second part. I, I, I don't think it works like that, but okay. I don't use any of the other three anyways, right? So I'm, I'm going to put on the element ones for sure. Easy, easy choice. I'm going to put on the fire, wind, and uh, water. All right, so this is like all of them. This is a topic like that them. some people brought up before. Uh, what was the first um, Guardian skin given out? Was it the Ifrit? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And so then the, it was the... So the discussion, the, the discussion on, on that was that when the Ifrits were first initially given out as the first season reward, uh, Legend player got... Uh, how many skins? Four, right? Four. G3 Four. got three. And the reason for that was because Elsharn was not released yet. Do you think they should make a change where the Guardian player should actually get, uh, I mean, the Legend player get five, G3 get four, 
three, two, and that allows G, uh, C3 players, which is a, a pretty big pool, and a lot of players that, you know, are in Guardian, uh, harder to get Guardian 1 now, because they're getting pushed out, <coughs> YDCB, me, Sean B, you know, other people, <laughs> you know, uh, 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 be able to get, you know, a Guardian skin, at least one. Do you think that would make more sense? Because you see I think that would make more sense. I right? also feel like they're giving out the three skins, like hotcakes. Because nowadays, like, that. everybody has Guardians, like, the Guardian things. You know, everyone has three, because the Guardian pool is so big. Yeah, what hey, they hey, should hey. do instead is uh, get, give Legend five, give the top four four, and they keep the rest the same. Hey, Tomato needs all five up for his Jaeger and um, Ragdoll, right? Yeah, so I like, to pay, because like, right now, if for uh, if, if a new get new thing gets released, it takes so long for it get to get into the special shop, which is where two you years, right? It. it took two years for a really long yeah. time. I think they're releasing like two a year or something like that. So I think it's more fair. Even the C three players, how many how many ranks are in C three? I'm curious how many skins that would be given out then. If it was one to each of those C three players, it's a decent amount, right? I know G one is twenty five hundred, C three is top. 3%. Uh, it's like 3%. It, you know, there's a reason they call it a guardian skin, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nah, that is not called a guardian skin. Most people will disagree with me, including my stream. We talked about this. I think that it should never come back. If you miss it, you miss it. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And like, I understand we're all guardians here. It's an asshole thing to say. But at the same time, you got to make people work for it and really... I know people really want it, right? And there are games how about that are this? only how about this? in it. You keep... You keep the rewards as is but at the end of the season for those players that grinded say over a thousand wings doesn't matter what your rank is you get one skin no that that would that would promote the the the, the, the people's leave the farm the farming thing like yeah. hey beginning of season i'm gonna play challenger one baby i'm just gonna use my 30 wings a day because i want to get my guardian skin halfway through oh, the season you have to keep a certain win rate can I say oh. something quickly? I told you I called it. There's some guy named Zero Two in your chat. This is why I don't like J Mac ass. But you know what? That's my opinion, right? I'm allowed to have my opinion. I called I, I know I'm you guys don't agree with it, but Yo. you know what? It is something special. It doesn't make your game any better. It doesn't make any better. So I don't get an edge for it. So I work hard for it. Maybe you should keep it limited forever. And like, hey, who who said that in chat, J Mac? Uh, some guy named Zero Two. Hey Zero Two, my body, my choice. <laughs> uh, no what i think they should do is they should make all the guardian skin give your units plus five speed oh sorry oh sorry never mind <laughs> oh wait did that happen before to uh certain anyways uh moving on um yeah i think they need to change the uh the system and uh allow players you know options to get these skins a little bit easier i think even c3 some people are saying in chat it's like three thousand or four thousand total right so i don't think that's a crazy amount of players because i know a lot of people have been pushed down to c3 now man because of how competitive the, is, the game's got. The thing is, if you give it to C3, then the C2s are going to ask for it, then the C1s, and then it's just going to, like, give everyone a skin at that point, you know? True, but, you know, the game the game has... Uh, RTA has definitely grown. We can obviously... More players are doing RTA now. So, you know, it, it makes sense to have the pool of... Actually, less players are doing RTA. Less players are playing RTA, yep. really? That, that, that's why they changed the top 1%. Uh, G3... I mean, G1 used to be top 1%. Right. Uh, they changed it to 2,500 because no one's playing anymore. First season, there were 5,500 Guardian ones. Everyone's playing it. I'm not attacking you. I'm not attacking you, Island Grown, but do you think Attack you could me. climb higher? Uh, do you me. think you could climb higher if you do all your wings every day? Yes. Yeah. Statistically. And, Statistically. Yeah. So, like, even, if, even as bad of a player, I think I can maintain, you know, you're a 55% a player, win rate. Like, 55%, I think I could, you know, do that. And that's still really crap. You know what I mean? It's still really crap. Yeah, so 55, like 60% win rate for sure. Yeah, I, I think like you just have to do all your wings to get the skin, right? So yeah. much time. But, uh, though. Obviously, there are so some at the end of the day, is the matchmaking system that's messed up. Yeah, because the matchmaking, matchmaking system, system. Yeah, system. Yeah, system. That, right? That's it's what I'm trying wall. to get at. It's the wall and the matchmaking system. Okay, that, that might make more sense. System, man. Yeah, the, that might make more sense. I see bad players so high and I see like good players so low. That's not right, man. Yeah, you see me at rank 14. That's not right, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> not you. Not even like that. I swear to God. I, say, I I respect you as a player. I think you're really good. But I'm just saying, like, I see that's not at you, man. Why, why? Uh, like, you know, good player. There's people that are better that are at the bottom and people are worse that are on the top. And that's not the right matchmaking system, right? Yeah, some people really don't have time to clear. Not at you. Many well, well, come on now. What the hell? Like, yeah, the game honestly, is I fine with the old system. Right. Even like if it hurts to lose 16, 17 points, I think the old system was fine. I, agree. I it's better than what we have now because 
Like I said, yeah. I, I, I think I lost SWC because um, I could do my- you went to EDC for three days and you can't be in SWC. What the <laughs> hell? You're in SWC 1, SWC 2? You're in every SWC. And you just went to rave for a little bit and then you come back and you're, you're out. That's kind of like, man. You, but you, at you least I knew that that was going to happen technically. So at least I was warned, but I chose real life instead, right? At the end, sometimes where it is a game, right? You chose... You chose real life. I'm disappointed, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you say you say the old system's better, but I think the new system is better. But they need to change the matchmaking and the walls. The old system, you're, if it goes back, you're gonna complain every time you get it like a match, and they're gonna luck sack you because it's gonna happen. And you lose those points, it's gonna be huge, dude. It's gonna be so huge. You get luck sack, people are gonna complain like crazy. You're gonna get those G1 matches, man. And they're, and they're gonna luck sack you, and you're not gonna have any. I'm pulling C threes right now. Right. Well, it's the same thing for others too. I mean, others are gonna lose those too. So. Well, like technically, again, if you're a G three and you pull a G one, right, you should be only losing what twenty percent of the time. Yeah. So you should still rank up. Then technically, is what you're saying. Yeah. Right. Like even Island if you. Bro, you're the one that took it worse. You should be way higher, but you can't do your wings every day, so you're stuck at the bottom. But no, I think I think your I account think, was way higher. I think this, I think you know? I think my account. Yeah, you're you're right. I think my account can be way higher in terms of the runes and units. Yeah. But for me as a player itself, uh, I haven't invested enough time anymore into the game. So so you're hurt by the matchmaking system as well. You know? True, true. Yeah. Definitely. And yeah, my, 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 my play has definitely friends, deteriorated right? over the last couple of seasons, man. Yeah, everybody's getting smarter. All the all everybody's runes are so much better. All the well, all the everybody's runes is better. People are getting more units and everybody's getting so much smarter, man. Yeah, I haven't kept up and uh, played. It's like yeah, I wouldn't, played... I wouldn't necessarily agree with that last statement. But... Which one? <laughs> Everybody's getting smarter. <laughs> okay, smart. all right. Well, more average, average, you know, amount of players out there are getting a lot smarter, and uh, I do see it. Yeah, I definitely but there see are more it. Resources resources as well. Everyone's runes are getting better. How do you say they're not, Fame Memory? Yeah, no, he said people are getting smarter. smarter. He's, he's, he's memeing that everybody's getting smarter. Oh, he, oh okay, yeah. okay, yeah. People's runes are hey. getting better. I will back up the people that's not doing RTA smart, man. If they're spoiled with too many LDs, all right, man, you need to relax. Come on, man. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it, people with a lot of LDs, you know what I mean? That, you know, Val, never mind. Nice I'm not going to say my next statement. Anyways, I don't know how that feels, man. <laughs> yeah. I think none of, none of us do it. Topa Dude, has kind of a little bit on an Art of Rectal account. Did you like, press all though? Auto everybody. Well, no. First of all, you get an Art Direct Doll account, and then you buy Tolerance Rooms, and you profit. All right, relax. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Dude. Yeah, no, Art Ragdoll, Art Ragdoll, and then, like, Immunity and Josephine, and just auto. It's pretty It's pretty consistent. I'll, I could tell you that. Yeah. Must be nice. Yeah. But, well, see, here's the RT... thing, right? If, if all the players were getting smarter and, like, the runes were increasing... Mm -hmm. The harder ranked all people actually be lower ranked because they're actually not that hard to beat. They are getting smarter though. Like, but I, Josh, I can't argue that there's a lot of people getting smarter a lot recently. Like, a lot of top players are streaming now as well, and you get to watch them play these people, right? And you learn how they think or whatever. And mm -hmm. I think that's helping people get better as well. Also, Topa, did you pull a Martina? Uh, for someone else, yeah. Oh, I thought it was for yourself. <laughs> no, it wasn't my account. Someone sent me a screenshot. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, RTA has definitely evolved to, you know, being able to practice it, do it every day and do a lot of the wings and get rewarded for uh, for doing so. And I think I think it's it's nice and it's good in a way. But the, the biggest issues that need to be addressed is the the wall, the wall and the um, the, the, the point system. And but it, how it, could I, it be balanced? No, 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 no the wall, the wall and the matchmaking. Sorry, the wall okay. and the matchmaking. Well, here's the thing, right? Like back then we had multiple walls. Mm -hmm. Now we only have one. 70, wall. No, seventy hundred and nineteen hundred now, right? I think it's seventeen hundred and nineteen hundred. Yeah, so two. If, so if, one seventeen hundred too. If so, let me explain the walls real quick. If you guys don't know what the wall is, once you are past that that amount of points or that threshold, aka what we're calling the wall, you start gaining uh you start gaining uh less points. And if you play somebody that's under that wall, you will um lose a lot of points. Right? If you're under, you gain and uh, lose a lot. If you're over, you gain and lose less. So there's an effect when you play players that are under the wall or around the wall. Yeah, but I think if matchmaking changes, I don't think it's too bad. You know what I mean? Because like, then you'll never get placed with people under the wall. Which so I think is are you going to sit there for five minutes for one match then, I guess? People sit in League, Overwatch, other other games. That yeah, like for two hours, minutes. right? Would you mind? Would you mind sitting and waiting for a better match game? 30 wings, yes. But if it's like five minutes, I'm okay with that. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't <laughs> mind, yeah. Would you be really annoyed? 
I would be really annoyed waiting five minutes per. I get really annoyed just waiting like thirty seconds. True. But we need to find a balance right now, right? Because right now I think the system is dumb. Yeah. It's for, it's forced me to play a no a brainless comp, which is my cleave comp. I've never played a cleave comp until this season because I knew I had to do wings. So and I think if you want to see, to use it. what do you say? Use it because it's like easier. Yeah. So <laughs> like if you want to see the true oh, players, now like. My face. <laughs> Who, who's actually like the truest and most smart and strongest players out there? They need to change the matchmaking system because a lot of players, as if you do a lot of wings, right, you'll you'll be able to rank up higher by just playing players that are lower than you, right? For the majority of time. Imagine if you only got queued up with G three players, right? It's got to be over that wall for you to queue up with. That might be tough, right? For you to yeah, consistently so beat and stay I'm up. I'm sure Contrus knows there is this issue, but how are they gonna fix it? They probably don't know themselves, right? They're yeah. probably sitting there like, uh, let's try this, let's try that. So every season we might get something changed, but we don't know until when they will actually make it where it's sort of balanced. Right. Uh, one last thing I want to talk about RTA that uh, Topa told me that I, did, I didn't really uh, realize, but uh, he said once you get like a win streak, you get, usually get paired up with uh, stronger players. And when you're on a lose streak, you get paired up with lower players. And it's been pretty consistent watching players get like five win streak pluses and five loss streak pluses. What are your thoughts on that? I learned that in LA recently and it f felt that it was true. I don't know if it was like up observation bias mm -hmm. but it felt like that that night when i was just tilting yeah i kept I, I, getting more I yellow stars i'm pretty sure it, it's it's true it's a hidden mmr as uh, a lot of people yeah. call it yeah it's a it's a hidden mmr and uh it, i mean Top, topa is saying from his perspective and that's topa how many wings did you get 2k wings already or i don't know how many wings uh, the this season, season i think 1500 so over the course of 1500 <laughs> wings uh he said that um other players that uh, have done hundreds of wings have definitely said the same as well so um yeah if you're on a streak I get... i've never seen a person on a streak like let's say you're g1 g2 i've never seen one somebody on a streak that got a c3 i'm talking like a oh. 10 win streak man and they keep doing their wings and i've never seen them get a c3 and then when oh. they're on a loss i see them get consistent c3s i did like half of the wings topa did but uh i think it's all random for me i that's how i feel but yeah you've gotten a yeah, c3 from great. win streak how, how big of a win streak though i think I it has to be a to. certain amount like five plus win streak. I, mean, I, I had like a twenty something game win streak yesterday. I just didn't feel any. Oh, another thing is that even I, if yeah, you're on a win here, streak, I didn't feel it much. No, no. People were saying if you were on a win streak as well, if you get somebody that's matched lower, it's potential that they're on the win streak as well. That's why. So you're matched no. up with somebody who's on a win streak. Yeah. That's why you get somebody that's lower potentially. I never got a twenty game win streak in my life, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So I don't know. Um. I noticed it after Topa said something, but I don't know. That's observation bias, right? And that's why I think some 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 top players like Guardian three players, you know, sometimes they, they, you have like a ridiculously long queue. Might be that for for that reason. I think yep. Se Seishi Zou okay. says right here in chat. Seishi Zou, who's uh, ranked I think fourteen right now or fifteen. Seishi Zou, he said he said he got a twenty win streak and he didn't he couldn't find a match after. Yeah, because no one else that's high for MMR at the point. Yeah, or at that. And that's time. that's and that's actually. Do? A... Does it reset the next hour um, no, or? He's... I'm, I'm not sure how that that works. It just has or to be another G3 on, wait online. For, wait for someone else to, you know, get on that level or... <laughs> so I, I will ask Comptuous about this and maybe they'll make it public information. I don't know why they wouldn't want to make it public information, but I, I'll, I'll try to ask them and see what they say. Yeah. It resets when you lose. Oh, okay. So it resets... <laughs> so I, I had that know. before. I played on a C2 account and then I kept on winning it and then I queued up to three three G3s in a row on in a, a C2. Row? On a oh, C2 did you win account. the last two? Yep. But did you and win the other two against the three Guardian three? In a row? Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, um, Shizo said it resets once you lose, right? So did you win the other two Guardian yeah, three? Yeah, I, I beat the other two. Okay. Mm. That's interesting. I, I heard this recently, so I don't know. Oh, what? Okay, here, here, here's a little thought here. Point system change when you're on a win streak. You gain additional points in RTA, even though you're over that wall, more than normal if you're on a win streak. Would that be something of interest? How's your place gonna be at nine thousand points? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like a five plus win streak, and you gain like one additional point or two. I, I don't know. I just I'm just brainstorming here with the with this with this thought. Like so, so tomato's gonna be at nine 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 at the legend competition. Like it maxes out. Damn. Okay. I mean that that just that just makes a bigger gap. It's like so that would yeah. make it. Uh, your the higher your win rate are, the higher your ranking are. That's okay too. Hmm. Yeah. 
Damn, this is actually hard. Maybe that's why they couldn't figure them out. We're just sitting here right. thinking about what, how should we fix this? Because they can't yeah, figure because... it out without breaking it. You know what I mean? They want to make sure they don't mess up. Sense. I mean, there's some people like in G3 with like a 50%, 60% win rate. It's like, what are you doing in G3, you know? So, yeah. No, I feel attacked. <laughs> Oh, you think we're retired than 50? Get out of here, no, man. Like 65. That's yeah, good. 60% is all you need for G3 nowadays. 60% is okay. All right. I'm uh, going to move on to topic number four here. Uh, we're having some great discussions actually here today. Um, By the way, the Europeans are the worst. They keep Ooh. track of everybody's. <laughs> I thought you were. What the hell? Yo, dude, dude. dude, they keep yo, track you, of everything. Yeah. Bro. Are you reading that chat? Like, they've been talking about it. Yep. No, I, I I'm not oh, reading right. chat. I'm not on the chat because I'll have echo. But then like, people they keep track of people's win rate. It's crazy. No, I man. Sorry, there's some line chats that are like RTA driven, and they've been talking about like win rates and stuff. People's win rates. Oh yeah. Versus yeah, I've been reading that too. They're 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 very uh, smart players over there, man. They 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 calculate yeah. everything when they play. Totally agree. Javaling yeah. is uh. You mean have at home? Can you stop that? Yeah. Okay. Dude, inside, <laughs> inside, inside my what is it? Was it was it in the the the, the last podcast? You you said that too, right? Javiton. Yeah, I Javiton. call him uh, javelins. I don't know why. Javelin. I call him Javiton. Yeah, ja- Javiton's pretty cool. Ja 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 ja. All right, uh, I'm gonna move on to the next topic here. Uh, speaking of the RTA tournament, uh, top four legends tournament. They they started running this last season. Um, are you excited to see it? Are you? Or do you think they're gonna do a replay again and then uh, of of the tournament and do it on Contuous live stream? Um, who are the top four players and who's gonna win? I actually don't even know who the top four are. The top four set like three month, two months ago. Who, who, who are they though? <laughs> Pretty much, they? yeah. Exactly. Uh, Sai, Tomato, uh, Doggy, and How to Play. Okay, and who do you think is gonna win? Wait, will Doggy get to go in for legend tournament? He still does, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Top okay, four. So it's just top four. four. It's just to it be for four. legend. So who do you think is going to win? Last, last season was Z. <laughs> Am I old? Anyway, no, no, last I, season I, was Z. What about my this season? Eggs are, my, all my eggs are in uh, how to play. Yeah. I want Sai to win. I put all my eggs in Sai, bro. Yeah, I want Sai okay. to win. Yep. Yeah, I want Sai okay. to win, yeah. But I think I, no, 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 no. What we want, want is different, okay. Yeah. I think Sai going to win too. Assuming he doesn't go out the night before drinking. He probably will win. <laughs> <laughs> usually that's what happens. So it messes him up. Uh, no, no, no. Not who you want. Who do you think will win? Right, I don't. I guess who I want. Think, I don't know how. I have a feeling about how to play is not gonna win. You don't how, think how to play is gonna win? Are how, you serious? Oh my god! How do you know that, Seishi's? How to play has an eighty-six point three nine. Okay, that's a little bit exact. Eighty-six point three nine percent win rate. But wait, no, what there's is a website that tracks it? There's oh, a website I'm telling that tracks you, it. What, the what? Europeans do all that. <laughs> They're so smart. What What is the win rate for how to play and these top players against each other or against other top? G3 players. That's a different question, you see? And hey, that, that, that percentage you, is much, much different. Can you pull that up right now, all those four players? <laughs> if you could. That's interesting to know. No, but how how much Psy beats on G2s and G1s, or how much How to Play beats up on G2s, G1s, has no correlation on how they're going to play against each what, other I'll tell you what, the win rate is not so accurate, too, because sometimes people are testing monsters. Like, probably, like, Fame Memories win rate might be 60, but he's testing, like, weird-ass stuff, you know? So, it's, like, it doesn't, like... <laughs> it just it's puts you at a, a 60% Right? Am I right? 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 <laughs> Have you am ever right? been 60? I don't think so, too. No, but you know what I'm saying? Like, your win rate goes down if you're testing some weird-ass stuff, you know? Baron's, Baron loves testing stuff every day, right? So, his so win rate not, would be low, but accurate, he's still an like amazing this. player, right? So... Yeah. Yeah, but if you're, if you're testing stuff, you're, like, forcing a unit that could might not be might not work you know i'm just saying like that win rate thing could be not as accurate as it seems right well for the top four players i don't think they're really testing and ranked that's true that's true there's a reason why they're five thousand points right right. but i'm (laughs) just curious their win rates are against each other you know like who who do you think is the most consistent player against other op players that's the big question could it be be sai i don't know I mean, in terms of account strength, I think it's between Dog Guy and Sai. Yeah. You know why this is how to right? play? How is account strength? How is how to play not the best? Because because how to play's runes are actually not that great. I get it, but then Painter. <laughs> but then remember, it's SWC. Oh yeah, it's it's SWC mode. mode. So they lose one unit, I guess. That's true. But when you have sixteen LD not fives, it's okay to lose one. So if you, you have think... 11 fingers, you can cut off one, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, if you I know how to play. It still hurts, Tom. Wait, 
<laughs> if your Gianna gets banned, you get to pick like Druid. If it gets taken, you also get to pick like Druid. I don't know why you're using that right now. Yeah. yeah. So you think the thing the strongest count is um uh, dog guy and uh, Sai. What about actual uh, in-game decisions, right? There's multiple factors. Account strength, and the next one is player decisions and player, like, smarticalness. Who is do you think is... Sai one of the cleanest players that I think know? he's so smart, dude. Yeah, I've seen I think yeah he's as long so as he's a drink, then. Exactly. <laughs> this is actually very true, though. Just no soju. Yeah. I think Sai is definitely one of the, uh, the smartest players out there. Like, I, I, I don't know about you guys. You guys are all hipsters. I just jumped the bandwagon. I see whoever's first place with the highest points. I'm like, that guy's going to win. Hey, what happened last season? Remember yeah. Mr. 5555? Okay. Five, five, five? You're right last season. I was wrong last season. Big, no, big deal. But I'm always jump the bandwagon, man. Whoever first place deserves my praise. So do you cheer for Toronto or Golden State? Golden State? Come on, man. <laughs> There's that, but they were injured. So it was not yeah, fair. Yeah. It was not deep. fair. So we just gotta injure one of them, right? No. Whoa, <laughs> relax. Oh my god, this oh, is how Jeff yeah, plays. No. This is how oh, Jeff shit. plays. Yeah, I almost laughed. I'm gonna almost. give my spot. Alright, what about what were you saying, Fate Member? You were saying I'm about to say something about um, smart owners. Like the new dog guy owner, um, he plays very clean like ninety five percent of the time. There are some times when he plays like questionable, but like most of the time he's like Oh, it's almost like a machine when you watch it. Maybe it is a machine. Maybe it's a comp uh, machine. You know Dog Guy yesterday? I forgot it was him because the name changed, right? Did Gianna outsped my Triton? I'm so sad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? He, dog Guy changed the name, right? And I wasn't yeah. just thinking. I was just going in. I was like, and then I looked after him. I'm like, wait, that's Dog Guy. Did Gianna outsped my Triton? Gia Gianna outsped your Triton? No, no, no way. No yes. way. Damn, you no, suck. He's... Sorry. Yeah, I, I, I completely agree. You know, I, I was like, you know what? Wait, we, we just uh, made you swift slot one, sir. How are you getting out sped? We, did you guys hear about the two swift slot ones we made for him at, 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 at LA Beatup? Yeah. Man. How do you lose, sir? I'm so sad. Um, But yeah, Josh knows about his GM. It's pretty insane. It's yeah. on Will, too. It's on Will. Yeah. The only the only bad part is it's not on Curry. If it was on Curry, it would be like insane. In we we have a we have a Will Gianna in our in our in our guild that doesn't play anymore. That's three twelve. You know who Ken? He doesn't play though. Yeah. His is three twelve. Yeah, but with like but some that of the will worst. Speed some... Triton, dude. That that would outspeed your Triton. That won't. Oh, that won't. So you gotta be three eighteen. Holy smokes! Is it three eighteen? Um, I don't know, Josh. I think that's, it's what, that's, what, that's what Baron said. That's what Baron said. I, I trust I trust Baron. Anything with numbers and Baron next to it is is usually correct. <laughs> we can just check real quick on God's army. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's whoa, that's whoa, like whoa. Yeah. another whoa. European. How sick are they? God's army. God damn, yeah. you guys are so sick, man. All right, uh, we're gonna go into the last topic here, which is kind of just an open discussion. We got about five ten minutes left to kind of uh, talk. We did start the podcast a little late, uh, so whatever you guys want to bring up and discuss. Okay, feel free to talk about it here. <clears throat> Did you get sponsored by Tinder yet? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Did I get sponsored from Tinder yet? Yeah. We're bringing gamers together. Yeah, I wonder how that... Uh, that, uh, that bringing app gamers is. together. Yeah. Right? Yeah, there was there was an app that tried to bring gamers together or something like that. I don't know if it was successful or it did it flop, but I saw an email for it or something like that. Did you uh, sign up? No. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, someone talk about you guys, uh, have you guys heard this story? It's about uh, this really awesome Hall of Famer magic card player called John Finkel. And uh, he went on a Tinder date and she asked him like, hey, uh, what do you do? And he's like, I'm a professional magic player. And she's like, peace out. That's whack for me. Uh, that's like, that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's uh, gamers are discriminated and that's a problem. Nah, know? but you know what? If you have that kind of background and uh, a woman or a man, or vice versa, right? Because, you know, girls play magic as well. Um, if, if, a, if a woman or a man did that or said that to you, then that's not the right person you want to be with anyways. True, false. That's correct. Yeah. Right? You don't want that kind of mentality anyways, right? So yeah, I think that's that, that, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a perk yeah. of being a gamer yeah. then. If you think about uh, it, right? Quick, quick um, Baron just said it's 319 now. So it went up at one speed. There. Yeah, I checked it That's God, insane. So it's 319. Does, how, does it have other stats as well, or is it a little bit slacking uh, on other stats? It's 34,000 HP, 1,400 attack, 1,100 defense. 
32 crit rate, 75 accuracy, 28 resist. What? Dude, imagine that had more crit rate. Like, that is no, more dude. Crit rate is low. You can yeah. you can barely get any more crit rate. I mean, if you stretch it, maybe 50, but how do you get any more efficiency than that, dude? That that that's those stats are insane. I, I, if he had what's less attack or HP. What's the efficiency rating on that unit? What? Topa, what's the efficiency rating on that? Oh yeah, unit? Should I, tell you I don't know. God's army efficiency is so weird. Yeah, yeah it's, it's so weird. Like 150. You're like, what is yeah, 150? 143. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Point eighty six. See, yeah, I don't know what that means, but yeah, oh, yeah. But I mean, it, well, I, obviously, if it was less level? tanky and less attack, then yeah, get more crit rate. I think it bring more value. But that speed is insane, dude. At that point, you're using whatever lucky runes and that you remember, have. Remember, it's on will. That's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> that's so nuts. swift, Hathor, swift, uh, Ganny and shit. That's what he's trying to protect from, like right? Swift Ganny, swift Hathor. They're not gonna outspeed that even without will. Which talking well, about? No, it's speed lead. Well, I mean, obviously, then you, you you potentially okay. I guess that gives you a barrier of safety if you drafting in speed lead and you want to leave it through if you have the will. That's true. That's definitely true. But damn, it's insane. I just want Diana. <laughs> That's actually pretty insane. Wow. Three eight three nineteen. Jesus. Three nineteen. What what is max? What is max potential? With with Swift I can't do the math right now. I can't do the math on that because it's twenty four percent lead. Diana plus base speed plus thirty five times five plus forty two. Well, base speed is a hundred. It's not that. Yeah. Oh no, you cannot get up to. Uh, what is it? Thirty six. Oh, yeah, you can just thirty seven now. Thirty seven. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can go higher now with the <laughs> the extra one speed ancient. from ancient runes. Wait, wait, no, no, it's not on swift. Not on swift anymore. Oh no, no. Also, but he can do I two can runes. Do will, though. He can do will. We can do on will. Yeah. So two runes. So he can oh, get four. He can get extra four speed. Four, four speed, speed additionally, if he oh. gets it maxed out. Oof. You can add a yeah the grind in there too, right? That's why. Yeah, grinds yeah. plus one. Oh yeah. yeah. Damn. I, hey, you guys get any good ancient runes yet? I didn't get any, dude. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I got an energy plot six. Damn. Ooh. Did it roll good? What speed? Like 20. Oh. Oh. Okay. Not bad, Lame. not bad. <laughs> Lame. So basically, Lame. did someone get 31 speed already the first day? That's crazy, dude. On Reddit? Yeah, I saw that on Reddit. Was, yeah. yeah, it was an Endure rune or some shit, right? That's like one in a million, though. Yeah, yeah. but it's still pretty crazy. I hope you guys are getting your reaps every week because when, when you yeah. get that one rune, man, there's just all just all you can do with those reaps. I have four reaps now. I have four as well. Everybody has four, unless you missed last week. Yep. Topo was the first to get the reaps. <laughs> nah, he's the first to get runes, man. He was farming runes the whole time. Still didn't get any runes though. Drop mm -hmm. rates suck. How much do you regret that now? You could be playing with the Ryok or Fairy right now. Oh, we can bring that topic up real quick. Then, how hard do you think the dungeons are? I'm hearing the Fairy dungeons and the Rune dungeons are, in particular, a lot tougher. Yo, the Fire dungeon is annoying as shit. The one that I did, you know, after you guys had this stream, it took me another hour and a half. Oh, the Fairy one, because you have to use all Fire units, right? You have to use Mono Element. That's right. Yeah, you need a Fire Stripper. Think about how many Fire Strippers there are other than Daphnis. And the Fire Mermaid. You know? Juno, you're not gonna bring a Juno into a. Nah, dungeon. you haven't done it. You just, I didn't, I haven't done the dungeon, so. You know, uh, Patrick messaged me yesterday. He's like, yeah. So what do you use in that dungeon? It's so hard. Kumar, Kumar's not bad. Oh my god. No, he's Kumar. like, what do you use? I'm gonna, I might do it. I'm like, Daphne. He's like, yeah. What about your stripper? I'm like, Daphne is a stripper, dude. Oh my <laughs> god. Well, Embarrassing. Everybody who no, meme no. on Daphne now. Daphne will he's be. Tired. I mean, if kid, you have you know? a secondary awakened uh, Raok, it's really good in that. Yeah, if you're making a secondary awakened Fire Fairy, if you have a secondary awakened Fire Fairy already, it makes it easier. Just saying. It's too late now, <laughs> sir. <laughs> I'm doing Raok um, starting this week, so. How about the Rune Dungeon? Uh, the Fairy Rune Dungeon? I heard it's like Wind Element, Wind Teams, right? What have you been using, uh, Topa? Uh, I've been using uh, Wind Monkey, Wind Panda, Triana, and uh, whatever. That's the fourth. Oh, so first two units are pretty free to play. So it looks like everybody can pretty much copy that comp. I mean, that copy that that that, uh, that team comp. <laughs> yeah, Chisun is pretty good there. Uh, oh, yeah, Chisun's probably better than Triana. I don't have a rune though, so. Is it is it is it a little bit tank in intensive? Like you have to have bruiser tankier units, or what? What if you ran wind twins? Like for I, I ran water twins. It worked perfectly fine. Yeah, you could oh. probably run twins into it. Yeah. It, but like you, you need them to be a little bit tankier because the boss is gonna take two turns. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Yeah. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, but the far one was really annoying. The fairy. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to trying to build that. That's why I'm just doing the Inugami ones. That's why I was like, I'm going to do the whole Inugami family because uh, it's just the twins and friends. So 
It's yeah. so easy, dude. Yeah, that one was actually the most annoying one because it took me quite a while. We we all streamed at the same time, right? That was a fun stream. That yeah. was a fun stream. I really enjoyed it. But I was up till like 9 a.m. Whitey's like, yeah, yeah, I got this team, dude. It's so fast, dude. It's so fast. How many times did you wipe? I only wiped like 10 times, but this team's really fast. Dude. I just use Ed Crystals to revive. It was so funny. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's I, I am enjoying the new content for now. So we'll see what else they're going to come up with. I don't know if you guys are enjoying it or what are you guys doing with it. Hmm. I'm enjoying it. it. It just, like, a lot of people complain about the energy recovery rate, but I, I think it's fine for now. You know what I mean? Patience. It takes time. You know what I mean? I don't want it to be too big of a chore. I want to take my time. Yeah. Like it yeah. just sucks that it's you won't see too many in SWC. So if you look at the time, it's you're going to get two units for SWC. Well, I mean, you, you can make one every 8.5 days. So Is it 8.5? Yeah, 8.5 days. But, but you, need so, 100, you need 105 energy. Something like that. Sorry, I'm with Devil Mons, right? We calculated it's about... You can probably go up two in, with the packs, right? Yeah, you can probably do about two with yeah. the packs. And then you're going to continue yeah. to get dailies as well. I don't know when SWC starts. I, does anybody know start date? Soon. Oh, in soon? July, thir uh, July 13th. Oh, is that, is is that first, it? the uh, first online tournament. Oh, I see. Is that public oh, information? In a month. Oh. Uh, it's public to um, SWC. SWC. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Bobo. You didn't sign the NDA. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't sign the NDA. This is <laughs> they told me that day, and then we have every every week after that. So I'm just gonna put that right out there. Yeah, I mean that's every, fine. Every, every Saturday uh, after I, that. Most of the times when it's like July 27th, yeah. When it's I I've I've come to find an understanding that when it comes to like you know a little bit more sensitive information like that, I mean you're not under NDA and whatnot as well as um as long as they don't you know people aren't posting it up and whatnot. But yeah, it should be okay. What I don't understand is it, the schedule says it's four weeks, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but how are we gonna get through our is it only four weeks for the prelims or including group stages? Well, it's actually five. Hey, weeks. Wait, are you guys supposed to be talking about this? This is uh, this uh, this, this is my stream here. You know, is this is this public information? Because I don't know about this either, so I would like to ask you guys about this. But is this something that you guys supposed to be talking about? <laughs> because if you guys get in trouble, I, was, I get in trouble now. I was never told to not tell anyone. I don't want to get in trouble, okay? But I do so. actually want to know this stuff too because I actually don't know. They, well, they've never, told me. never said you were not allowed to tell anyone. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, didn't, they didn't tell me not to tell anyone. So, so Toba, go away. Okay, I'm just gonna put the screenshot on my phone and then put it up, and everyone can read it. Oh, B, B's in chat. Thanks, B. Yeah, B said that I don't think anyone get in trouble. Nice. So if yeah. we do get in trouble, we blame B. <laughs> okay, we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, bongers. Thanks, B. Everybody, post your email oh, on the screen, including your high value. I'm just kidding, bro. <laughs> Give an inch, take a mile. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of excited for this uh, tournament to see it pan out. I think a lot of people are excited. I mean, for it. I, would, I would assume they're going to like broadcast the. Uh, preliminaries in like twitch or something so yes should, i feel like people should know know yeah. what they are no but i think they're gonna make an official press release that's just probably how yeah company probably. Works, right? yeah i think and then I'm, I'm really excited for the commentators as well i heard ninja and tim the Tapman are gonna be commentating it it's gonna be lit oh oh it's oh sorry leak i'm sorry no you forgot summit, summit oh i forgot oh yeah summit's too. doing a commentary on that nah, i'm curious and to hear about is that. still thinking about it because it's too little money <laughs> 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 all right um very fun podcast today. I think that's all the time we have. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. If you guys are watching from YouTube, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the podcast. Once again, today we went over some pretty awesome topics. Had a lot of fun as always. These podcasts, these podcasts are wrapping up and getting you know more fun each and each week. I try to bring in some more new faces. Uh, do me a favor, hit that like, leave a comment below. On you know, I always read the, the podcast comments from the week before, like a day or two before the podcast happens. So any comments, suggestions, topics, um, some of them don't get brought into the podcast because we've talked about them before. So check out the other podcasts that we have inside the playlist. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for joining me on today's uh, stream and today's uh, podcast. My pleasure, my pleasure. Yeah, yep. sorry for technical difficulties. It happens. I yeah, it happens. thanks so much. Wouldn't I enjoyed be, it. Wouldn't be the podcast without technical difficulties and somebody eating. And we had both. No one ate. So. Oh, wait, no. Uh, uh, Josh, fate fate was mind. eating while you had your technical difficulties. So it was a two oh. and one. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Josh, yeah, you went to get Church's chicken last night? Yeah, I know. Like, right we when left I the restaurant. <laughs> you went straight. Like, uh, he told us the story earlier. Yeah, he told us the yeah, story. I, no, I heard. I, I was watching it. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys soon. All right. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everybody. Bye-bye. Who's the last one? 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 Ha 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 ha. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> he just stays there. <laughs>